Florida one and a half points back in third, but things will change here in the second section of the women's 200 meters. The SEC record held by Karan Stewart, the Olympic silver medalist from Beijing in the 100 meters. Ariel Scott of Central Florida has the best time in the college ranks. Kim Duncan, all-world Kim Duncan. She's coming back for her senior year, and we had a chance to talk to her about that exact subject. If I was actually able to win the bobbin again, that would be awesome. Um, coming here, coming to uh, college to run, especially for LSU, some of the stuff that I've, I've done, I've never thought I'd be able to do. Um, so being here and, and getting the accolades while being here is, is awesome. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm just enjoying it. And she's even faster now than she was last year. 22.73, the time to beat from section one. Kimberlyn Duncan had that better time in the preliminaries. Has she left enough? She's already run the 60-meter title, and she is going for it. She's made up the stagger on Ashton Purvis, but in the first 60 meters, Kimberlyn Duncan completely going for it, but staying with her technique beautifully. This is her signature event. This is the event she wants, lifting hard, keeping her form together. 22.51, that will be corrected perhaps, but it's certainly in enough. 22.54. An outstanding performance by Kimberlyn Duncan. She easily eclipses Kamaria Brown's section one time and doubles here at the SEC Championships. Wins the 60, comes back and wins her signature event, the 200 meters in a fantastic time and a new personal best. She is now the world leader, and she's the world leader by close to two tenths of a second. It's actually closer to probably 15 one hundreds, but nonetheless, she got out very fast. She hammered that back stretch. She didn't ease into it and say, I'll kick home well. It's, I'm going to hold together. I've got the stamina training. This is a woman who can bench press 125 pounds, and that strength makes a difference down the home stretch. She's tying up a bit at the end, but nonetheless, there was good reason. 22.51 second, seconds. She now has three of the four fastest 200-meter run in the world indoors this year. Congratulations to Kim Duncan. And what a contrast in styles between her running and Ashton Purvis, who was working so hard on the outside. But with 22.54, the fastest time in the world this year, she wins the, the race and 10 points. But Texas A&M gets second and third. That's 14 points for the Lady Aggies.